Speed Racer would never drive on a track that mentioned anything about relaxing or scenery appreciation. Shit, his car drove through the scenery. And that's another thing about the slow lane, Chim Chim. Another reason why slow traffic won't keep right. You know the minute you do, some putz in a Hyundai is going to pass you. How's that going to feel? It's like giving up. Throwing in the towel. The minute you get into the slow lane, you might as well just die because you know you'll be stuck there forever. Might as well just turn your left turn signal on and leave it on because the race is over for you. That's why nobody moves over. Slow? I'm not slow. I'm going 75. That's not slow. Look, I'm still passing the poor schmucks in the slow lane. I'm not slow. Look, I'm breaking the frickin' speed limit. I am not slow. Sure. Tell that to the guy coming up behind you doing 90 who looks like he's ready to do an anal probe with his front fender. There's no getting around it. Eventually you're slow. Admit it. And while you're at it, you might as well just face the fact that the guy who passes you is never going to get a ticket. He could be waving a bazooka in one hand and a bottle of Bacardi in the other with his tailpipe on fire and a vanity plate that reads Cop Killer, C-O-P-K-I-L-R. He'll never get a ticket. Sorry, but it's best that you face it now. I'll tell you what they should do with the slow people. Instead of telling them to drive in the slow lane, there should be a big sign that reads, Slow people, disperse amongst all the lanes. Keep the rest of the drivers in line while we're out getting donuts. Sign the cops. But it doesn't say that. The sign says to keep to the right. But I wasn't going to keep to the right. I was driving north on the I-5 going from Orange County to Seattle, Washington in one day. I was nearing the Oregon border, and this car was approaching fast. I'd seen him before. He'd passed me just before Sacramento, and I passed him just after. He passed me just before Reading, and I passed him just after. If he wanted around me this time, he was going to have to take the slow lane. I was driving north because I wanted to escape. I wanted to leave the gravity of Southern California way behind me and go somewhere I could actually think. And it was gravity, too. I could feel its pull dragging on the back of my car like a stuffed trunk. A trunk filled with everything I was running away from. And I was running away. I was in my 30s, and yet my reaction to the problems in my life was to revert to a teenager. Which is easy for me. What was happening, and I didn't know it yet, well, but what was happening was that my marriage was winding down. It was that same feeling you get when you run out of gas. You're moving along just fine, and then there's this little list, like a, a little sigh. And then it comes again faster, and your car's slowing down. And no matter how much you think, and no matter how hard you think, I've got to keep going, you are slowed down, and you stop. I could feel it. And no matter how much I kept thinking, I've got to keep my marriage going, I knew. I, I knew it. I knew that this was it.